What up, what up, what up, what up, though? Yes, sir. Collection video time. As y'all can see in the back, this is the man, the myth, the legend. Eric, this is his collection. We showing off. He's going to be running through these key pieces, these key art pieces, collection pieces that he's took his time to acquire over the years. He didn't rush. He let his egg grow legs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You got to enjoy your collections, man. One, one thing I want to explain, I want to explain this to all the new collectors watching. Don't be in a rush to collect all this stuff, right? When you see some of this stuff, you're like, wow, I need I need that. I need that type of display. I need to take your time because how long you been collecting, bro? Over 30 years. Over 30. You got to understand. Years. Over yeah. 30 years, man. He cycled collections, recycled collections. Things have came in, things that went out. Like, understand, this is not a, a huge room, but it is quality. It is a quality room. He finally got to the nuts and bolts of what he wants to collect. And a lot of new collectors out there, they don't know quite what they want to collect, so they just start collecting a lot of stuff. And a lot of a lot of the gateway drug is Marvel Legends, and that's cool. If Marvel Legends is your thing, get all the Marvel Legends you can. But for a lot of us, our collections are, you know, 80s, 90s, 2000s, stuff we grew Nostalgia. up with. Nostalgia. Nostalgia type yep. stuff. So here's what we're about to do. I'm about to start you guys from one end of the room. And we're going, to, we're going to go all the way to the other end of the room. Wall to wall to wall. We're going to take our time. This video might end up being 25, 30 minutes. Sit back. Relax. Right now. Grab your drinks. Grab your, grab your snacks. It's going to be a fun ride. Do it fun now. Ride, yeah. Do it now before I cut the camera and we start. Yeah. Get the drinks. Here we go. So right at the doorway, Eric has this Slimer piece. Right here, right under the Slimer piece, he has all the Ghostbuster stuff here. Stance, Bankman, he got Spangler, of course, Zed Moore. Now this right here, this is what I like, Eric. Yeah. The way you set this up, and you got each individual character from Masters of the Universe at the top, then you then you come with the turtles like this, like that's fire, bro. Then you then you threw in a little Nintendo. <laughs> just some nostalgia, bro. Just you know a space what I'm saying? filler, you know? Just space filler. Like that there is fire. Yeah, yeah. loyal subjects really came through on those jokes. Yeah. I, I mean I, I like I said, they're they're maybe not everybody's cup of tea, but I I, I dug them, man. They they came out with some real good stuff on that. Definitely, man. Like you really hit it with with these pieces, and this was the first time Playmates came out with yeah, these turtles, yeah. Those right? are the original Playmates figures that came out way back in the was that the late '80s with right, those that right. came out. Those are the first ones. So obviously, I mean, starting to see cool articulations on figs and stuff like that. And of course, at that point in time, that was the that was the joint, the turtles. Yeah, but yeah. That's a that's some old school nostalgia right here is uh, Johnny Sacco and Giant Ooh. Robot for you guys that don't know back in the early seventies they did a whole TV show it was kind of like the in a in a Godzilla style um, way of filming it but it was a, a kid that uh, had a little uh, uh, a watch that he that he uh, got from uh, some group and right. uh, he was able to call his uh, robot to right. help him out. And, they went through some adventures and stuff. Kind of a kind of a kooky show if you watch it, but That's crazy. but the nostalgia behind it. And as a little kid, that was my jam right there. So I had to get picked that Very up from nice. an artist at one of the cons that I went to. What about this piece here, bro? Uh, another another con piece that I picked up on one of the artist alleys, um, and uh, I, I can't remember what con it was, but one of the big cons that, th that was out there in LA. Uh, always wanted to pick up some pieces that were not your standard cookie cutter style pieces. Right, right. Something right. that would flow with the collection, kind of tell tell a story behind it, or give a little bit more emphasis to the to the you know the setup and the display. Right, right. Just making it you know you know just kind of just going with it, uh, going along with that you know just, you know the helping turns. out uh, you know an artist or uh, you know a. Uh, uh, an upcoming artist to kind of display his stuff or showcase his stuff. I mean, I thought it was cool just to kind of give that, kind of give that love. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Now this piece here, though, 
Yeah, crazy. that was a piece I uh, crazy. A, a print that I picked up, uh, old school uh, OG IDW turtles from the very beginning. Uh, I, I picked up this piece because it actually has uh, Kevin Eastman's uh, uh, signature on it, which I thought was dope. And uh, uh, I bought that from another collector, and I thought that would go great, kind of as a standard right. uh, to show the showcase the you know the origins of the line. And, and you know, going through the years with right. the, with the old NECA turtles, uh, the the movie turtles, and then going into like the Nickelodeon stuff. I mean, the evolution of the of the line and and the different ways and the different styles that they were kind of fire, you know, made in. Yeah. Uh, all my shelves, all, obviously, too, all the wood shelves and stuff. I right. built myself. You know, just I just didn't want to kind of, the kind of stuff that you just store bought shelves or whatnot. There I mean, you go. If it works, it works. I mean, but for me personally, like I said, if I was going to do a collection, that's kind of how I wanted it. Yeah. You know, and each each collection, like I said, I'm not a completist in any way, shape, or form, but I just want to, you know, kind of tell the story with each one of my shelves with, with enough with enough pieces and you know. Good, good amount of you know quality stuff that's out there that'll you know really give the you know the people out there to, something to look at or you know like I said for me personally just you know just to be able to enjoy my collection. This this alien piece though, bro. Yeah. You gotta uh, break that alien piece down. Yeah, I uh, picked that up from a guy who actually does prints on vintage uh, dictionary pages, and uh, I picked the word space and uh, wow. like outer space and uh, just uh, had him print that alien xenomorph on there because I thought that flowed well with that. Just something that, you know, like I said, just kind of one of those, you know, out of the park kind of, you know, you know, outside the box kind of right. art pieces that you don't see every day. Right. Definitely, definitely respected that. Uh, we just wanted something that, like I said, would give a little flow to the, to the display and Crazy. just, you know, make it a little bit original, you know? Now this one, this one is a very special piece in a very special way. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, my boy Andrew Hanzo, pictured there. Um, he's uh, we we've known each other for a couple of years. Met each other on OBM, uh, Open Box Mafia, and uh, he was a uh, he's a collector and a big fan of the Exo Squad series, which I I really didn't know anything about. Once he explained it to me, and I, I found about his passion and love. I actually had a friend of mine who's a, a, an artist for DC and Marvel. That's I commissioned uh, I commissioned him to do me a special piece for my friend Hanzo, uh, where he's uh, actually part of the Exo Squad, uh, you know, theme, and, yeah. and made that whole piece for him. And I, I gifted that to him for his birthday. Obviously, I love the piece so much because it was kind of my my brainchild. I, I made one for myself, and I thought it would work well. And I. I placed it along with my collection my small collection of uh so sick, my bro. joy toy uh, mech figure so, so i thought sick. that worked good man because uh yeah joy toy is that new fire and they, you know just like any other collection i like to think that you know there's new things out there like these joy Absolutely. toy figures that you know people have never seen or things that aren't necessarily nostalgic right as right. far as collecting but i mean these figures are fire bro so i <sighs> I just couldn't. I just couldn't resist not jumping on this line and grabbing kidding. a few pieces, man. They just make some beautiful, beautiful pieces. You so. are not kidding, man. Yeah, in so. person, in the the heft of them, yeah, feels yeah, really dope. Beautiful. I just, I just couldn't believe how well Dang. done these things are, and you know, sick just, pieces, yeah. bro. Sick pieces. Definitely enjoy that. And like I said, I, I'm not a. You know, like I said, I don't need to have thousands and thousands of pieces to tell the story of my collection. Right, right, right. You know, when it comes to certain lines, obviously you're going to have more than others, but, you know, stuff like the Joy Toy stuff, I didn't really have to, you know, five figures is enough for me. I know there's tons more out there, but definitely, uh... Dig it. Definitely want to do that. These bots, though. These bots, though. Something yeah, serious. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, uh, I've only been in the bot game... Um, I'm 47 years old, and I've only been in the bot game less than four months now. Hmm. So I definitely jumped in and jumped in with both feet. Uh, definitely wanted to get down with the bot game. I waited a long time. Uh, finally, uh, friends of mine influencing me and 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 you know showing me you know the bot love and and what it's all about. I, I finally jumped in headstrong yeah, and, and yeah. started you know. And most of my collection, as far as the bot collection goes. Uh, it's all based off of my memories of the G1 cartoon series right. as a kid. I mean, 
You know, if you grew up in the '80s, there's, you know, you can't lie, bro. You, you definitely watched that. Must, you must. watched that cartoon, so you know. And like everybody else, I was a fan. I mean, didn't collect the toys, didn't play with the toys, right. but I was a fan and uh, definitely got down. So all of these characters al along this line are all part of my memories of the characters right. from the G1 show, and and you know, and even looking back, I, I find characters. I, I watch episodes now that I. I look back and go, oh man, I got to get this character or that character. But for the most part, more than ninety percent of it was just all from that, just you all from that, that memorization of that. So this is like your your anime. Yeah, you, yeah. You my, and your son, uh, my you and your kids son, right? Are a huge anime fan. Yeah. And he turned me on to a series called Demon Slayer. It's a story about a a, a, a young boy and his little sister, and his sister gets uh, bitten by a demon, and, and she becomes a demon herself, and he's trying to save her from uh, being killed or trying to find a, wow. a cure for her and it's kind of like their adventures so I got turned on to that real cool series and obviously you know all these little extra bits and pieces that you could collect I mean other than you know your standard six inch figures or your bots or whatever right. I mean having like these little uh, what, what line is this? I can't even remember the, the lines these are that, that are those little was mini this, figures and stuff. This was like the Walmart, uh, the, right? The uh, Constructs or whatever. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mega Constru Constructs. Mega yeah. Constructs, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if you're a fan of, of any type of line, you know, a lot of those pieces are just uh, some um, pewter pieces that are Damn. more uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons inspired. The jewels in them, though, yeah, bro. Yeah, they really yeah. pop, bro. Yeah, these are some old pieces that... Uh, one of these pieces too, I uh, believe it's uh, I believe it's this piece here in the back, this dragon piece. That's actually a piece from uh, uh, the company called TSR. And if if people are are kind of uh, knowledgeable in TSR, TSR was the actual original company that that merchandised and and uh, manufactured like uh, Dungeons and Dragons yeah. uh, uh, type of. Of products, so that that's actually an original piece from them. So that's kind of cool to kind of have in my collection. That's a little cool library it. set up too, bro. Yeah, you gotta have your art books, you know, books of, of you know things that interest you, you know. Very dope. Look at this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one, two, and three. Yeah, you gotta have them collections and jump back. Totally to tubular '80s toys. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. I definitely want to take a look at that book real quick. Oh yeah, gotta have that Batman year one, baby. Batman Hush in the building, baby. Mm -hmm. This is a well-rounded collector, guys. Let me yeah, tell you, this is yeah. a well-rounded collector. He knows what he wants. He collects what he wants. He making that grown man money. And this is this is just beautiful, man. Look at look at these like now these the Mondos? Work, Mondos are a work a freaking art yeah, bro. Yeah, Mondo 1-6 scale bro. When those figures dropped, I was just like I said, my jaw was to the floor. Because I was 100% a, a, a Masters of the Universe fan from day one. Way back in the 80s, in the early 80s when it came out. Yeah, all day. So Crazy. when these guys re reimagined and re-sculpted and and made these 12 inch characters of these, of these figures, I mean it's just, it's just beyond Sick. and you can see it's just the and detail the quality who made that piece uh matt that's from the masters of the universe uh um classics line the granamere but the actual crazy. company that actually sculpted that was the four horsemen four studios horsemen. There it who is. is actually the guys who do the mythic legions line yeah. so definitely a grail piece and even more so when i realized who the actual artists were that actually made that the guys who who behind the scenes made that piece come to come to life freaking insane man this piece too yeah freaking yeah sick. i picked up that from uh jorge gutierrez uh who's actually the guy who wrote and directed the uh book of life uh uh animation film yeah you guys know his work uh yeah very very inspiring artist uh pick up that piece from him killer yeah, he's uh, he, he did his thing. Like I said, definitely wanted to represent the the Motu line with some of those art pieces. I got one that one big one that I told you about earlier. That's, yeah, yeah, that's definitely. But the these skeletons rushing into battle, yo, this is this yeah, is yeah, all new, the different versions. This of This some yeah. unique shit, bro. This is crazy. That is freaking insane, man. Look at that. That's crazy. Then we bleed. Up. Then we bleed into the to the X Men, of course. 
Yeah, I had to start it off with that 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 backdrop with the that classic Jim Lee cover. Yeah. From the from the series. I mean, that, I just I just don't think anything says X Men like that Jim Lee cover. Jim man. Lee just is like this. the definition in my yeah. my opinion. And, and again, a piece like that I picked up from Frankenstein's. A guy had a print of it uh, already mounted on some nice styrofoam board to be mounted to the wall. So, like I said, as a backdrop to the to the collection. And again, uh, a small collection. If, if you know, I mean, if, if anybody knows how many pieces that most people collect, but to myself, I mean, I like I said, I like These to tell a small storage and, yeah, and yeah, and put in the key players and characters that spoke to me and 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 in the series and kind of made that that dynamic you know you. effect with the series. I mean, yeah, I, I had to I had to make it you know. Dig it, dig it, I dig like it. it. So we coming over here to this uh, to the Star Wars piece, right? Yeah. This is yeah. this is basically Star Wars and Mythic Legions type. Yeah, yeah. These are these are the Hot Toys collection and and some of the SH figure art stuff I have in here. Ooh, wee. Yeah, they just like I said, that's on a whole nother level. The 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 quality and detail and sculpt, paintwork, freaking the the soft goods. I mean, it's just like I said, I mean, it's just like the movie's just jumping right off the screen. I mean, you look at some of the faces, the eye details, I mean, everything. Every wow, piece of them is just so good. Wow, bro. Look at this. Golly, man. It looked like he just jumped right out of the movie. And my, my, personal, my personal, you know, love of Star Wars is episodes four, five, and six. So I... Right. Obviously, if you look at my collection, a lot of what you see will be from those episodes. All might have a little taste of, you know, episode two or one or, you know, the other episodes. But for the most part, like I said, my love is is with the, the first three episodes, four, right. five, and six, the original episodes. And that's what you based your, your collection yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bottom piece, the, the, the bottom piece that's with the R2-D2 and C-3PO, that's yeah. the mythos version of Obi-Wan which right. I thought was really dope because it's kind of like the story behind him after the Clone Wars where yeah. he was kind of where he became that hermit character right right and, right and kind of went out on his own so that was kind of like their rendition of it so I definitely picked up that because I, I had a lot of respect for the way that they, they pulled that piece off and Super I just think sick. it just looks beautiful man yeah man you know, like I said then the SHB Guards line with those Mondos I mean you, like I said I couldn't I couldn't resist that kind of stuff Look at these Mondos. I don't like like the hold of her. These, these Mandalorian by SHF. Like these things, people gotta understand. For a six inch line, these Just things are fire, dope. Man. Super dope, bro. Yeah. Golly. Look at so that. So good. Yes, sir. And the real killer at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. This guy. My newest piece. This man. guy. Yeah. Something. Freaking serious, and it he came with two of those uh, Grogu's. Grogu's. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's yeah, good. so good. That's killer. Like I said, if you're a fan, man, there's just no doubt. You don't even have to explain it. It's just, I mean, it's just so good. <laughs> Seriously. Good time. Dang. Love that piece, man. I love that piece. Jeez. Here we go. Coming up to punish it. This is yeah, again one of the uh, one of my one of my very favorite uh, aside from Wolverine, who's my all-time favorite right. Marvel character. My second closest to my heart is has always been and always will be the Punisher. I've always been a Punisher fan, man. I just I just always read the comics. Always was down for Punisher ever since I was a little kid, and and that was just you know, like I said, had to had to represent him with a decent shelf. Like I said, I don't need to necessarily need to have a, a thousand Punisher figures. Right, but, right, right. You know, the right ones, set up the right way, kind of, like I said, just tells my story and, and just, like I said, it shows my love for my for my collection, you know what I mean? Definitely. Then we got, I know you're a big, huge Mythic Legion guy, so yeah, this is, yeah. uh, this right here is sick. Dude looks like a statue back yeah, there. Yeah, these are, these are some of my custom pieces that I've made from the Mythic Legion's line. So each and every one of those pieces is, is, a, is a custom that I've made personally. Uh, this one here is actually a, a female version I did of a, of a Mandalorian. Ooh. So she's a Mandalorian inspired 
yeah, character. Right, so right. I kind of wanted to give that feel to it when I made that piece. Dig it. Yeah. And that's, of course, the child right there with her. <laughs> yeah, so. That's the Grogu. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now this one right here. Good God, we, we we touching on some ancient Japan type situation going on. Yeah, here. these are a lot of my barbarian dwarfs and uh, some of my uh, samurai inspired uh, uh, mythic legions. Uh, there's another artist, his name's Jeremy Gerard. Uh, yeah. He gave me a lot of great ideas and a lot of concepts to work Ooh. with, a lot of recipes to work with, and you know some I, I kind of went kind of. Uh, tit for tat on those, right, on right, those right. Uh, recipes and some of them I, I spun my own versions on them and made my own characters and yeah I just I've uh, just been going with it the details are mind-blowing bro yeah I just I they, just love they, doing they, it they man. truly are mind-blowing love, love doing it truly man now this right here look Lego you don't have much Lego in your collection but this right but you gotta here, gotta have some Lego love somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, this, especially that big ass Grail piece. Yeah, that's I and mean, putting that thing together, you know, bro, it's you know once you put it together, you've built a you've built a piece. So bro. you and your son put this together, right? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, and like I said, using that top space to showcase some of the. Uh, some of the vehicles and stuff and some of the nostalgia pieces that they've had uh, you know throughout the years in the line you know it just like i said i got tons of model kits that i want to build and stuff too to, to add to my collection but right. for the time being like i said put out some of those good pieces like that you know the atats the atsts the the millennium falcons the x-wings the tie fighters you know give them all some love crazy look at this I love this piece right here, man. Yeah, yeah, that piece was fire. I, I, I dug on that, man. I, I couldn't pass on that. Especially yeah. on that Ross low low. Yeah, yeah, the Ross on the low? Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah, you couldn't pass on those. That was crazy. Right there. Yeah, some old nostalgia, vintage freaking Star Wars. Yeah, this, yeah. That, this whole shelf right here is crazy. I love this whole shelf right here. This is, this is a nice one. But this next one right here, this is... This is the, the definite Star Wars situation we got going on over here. And then let's not forget about this artwork that you oh, got going yeah, on man. up here. Like, like I said. This is some serious stuff here, bro. I just always love having something that's just a little bit different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, you know, it, I just love the, everybody's different, you know, perspectives or, or their, their, you know, their way of viewing Star Wars. It's just, it's just a beautiful thing. Now, this artist here that did those, uh, it was an artist that I met at an at a art show. He did that piece right there, that Stormtrooper piece. Right. He called it Double uh, O Stormtrooper because he sees the Stormtrooper, but he's got the, he's got the Rebel tattoo on, on his hand. So he's kind of like a double agent right there. Mm. I just thought that was cool, man. It's just a whole different way of thinking of Star Wars. And, you know, the, Sick. The Leia with the big back piece. I mean, right. oh man, that's sexy, bro. It's just, you know. Totally. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> totally. Cool. Totally. That's some kick-ass artwork right here. Golly. Yeah. Look at this. Phew! Look at yeah, this. another thing with the displays too, you know, just, you know, adding, adding like that, I built that whole, you know, staircase kind of deck for everybody to kind of stand on. Right. Just so that your collection, your figures, I mean, there's a lot of important pieces out there that, you know, you don't want getting lost behind everybody else on your you bookshelf or whatever. You know, you're standing behind 20 other figures. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I, I might not have the biggest collection out there, but I, I, I like, I have the collection that, like I said, represents me and represents the characters that I love. Dig it. That's how, that's how I see it. And, and I don't see anything that's, that's hidden behind anything. You right, know what right, I mean? right. Yeah. Then Some, uh, really more, uh, of the uh, Mythic Legions line, uh, a lot of the uh, Motu inspired characters. Uh, so a lot of them are uh, customs that I did. The Skeletor in the back, that's a custom that's of mine. Fire. I did that Moss Man in the middle Super back there. Fire. That's a that's a custom. Uh, the Four Horsemen Studios do their own little renditions of, of certain characters. Obviously, Battle Cat here in the front. I did this. Um, 
um, trap jaw, an inspired trap jaw Hell that I got. Yeah. Another recipe that I got from uh, my my friend Jeremy. And Gerard. you do your own like uh, diorama pieces. Yeah, to yeah. Put I made all these diorama pieces for the inside of the detolf cases, kind of just give it a little bit more flair. When Hell you, yeah. You know, I like to do that with all of my stuff, but I mean, like I said, one one step at a time. You right, know? right, right. That's a whole series of uh, frost goblins that I did. These characters were, were, they came as green goblins, but I repainted them and kind of re-imagined uh, all their, their armor and stuff with like the frost look on them and stuff. Right, like, right, come right. out of like the Arctic Tundra kind of thing. And, Sick. Know? Yeah. I like how you put them all together like that. Yeah, It's like yeah. the clan, like you know what I'm saying? There, yeah. That's dope. And this is definitely Wolverine. Oh, yeah, definitely. Inspired shelf here. Yeah. As many as many Wolverine uh, figures have come out, there's only been a, 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 to say the least, a handful of them that I have, you know, really felt the need to buy or to have in my collection. And it's, you know, like I said, there's been a lot of them that I've passed on. But yeah. like I said, definitely giving Wolverine the love. Obviously, that Mezco 112 Ronin Wolverine. I mean, that's that was, king. Uh, yeah, was, <laughs> that's one of the sickest pieces, Mezco. Ever, ever, yeah. yeah. Yes. Again, some more uh, some more custom work down there on the bottom shelf, and you know, oh just yeah, Boba Fat inspired, man. Yeah, yeah, Boba just you know, just Fat inspired. Just messing around with some stuff, you know what I mean? Seeing, trying stuff out, seeing if it works, you know, just trying different things and Hell yeah. just going for it, you know. That's like I said, that's what it's all about now. I mean, you know, using using all this imagination that's out there and all this great stuff that they have, the new 3D printed sculpts and. You know. And what about this three-headed dude right here? They're like, this is a custom too, or no, no, no. That's just a. That was just a figure from uh, old Spawn line. I just thought he worked well. From he was just an old character from the Spawn series, and just thought he worked well with with some of these characters. A lot, a lot of stuff that I pull for my custom work is for from Spawn or uh, Lord of the Rings kind of stuff. So you right. see kind of those influences. Now I know that's a Kratos head right there. Yeah, yeah, that that's was a, a Kratos. Yeah, that's a Kratos head a on a custom. on a uh, WWE wrestling fig, and then the armor is from a McFarlane series fig. So it's like Sick. three figures that I customized into one to make that kind of gladiator style warrior. Uh, some of my early customs, all those all those um, wrestling figs were all you know. Just kind of, you know, start pieces that right. I did to start uh, when I, you know, wanted to test out some customs to see if I could do some like barbarian and start yeah. inspired customs. Yeah. What was that? Triple, the, H? Triple H. Triple H. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The body armor yes, that he's wearing sir. is from a uh, Clash of the Titans uh, figure. Yeah. And the boots, his boots, I actually pulled off of an old uh, Marvel Legends Thor figure. So what? I, so I, yeah. So I stuck his legs into some. Into a uh, into a some Thor boots oh, to give them that crazy. that better look. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, a lot, like dope. I said, a lot of those I just I just started throwing pieces together and adding little things here and there, armor and whatnot, and painting. Yeah. So yeah, just like I said, that's that's what's part of it. Like I said, the great thing about it is just the inspiration and the and the artistic value that I'm getting out of it now. Where I take my collection to kind of a whole new level, you know what I mean? Yeah, your Mythic Legion game is is freaking top notch, bro. Like th this stuff here, can't 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 nobody say like like look that is uh, silk right there. You put on a what a, a myth Mythic Legion body, yeah, body. Like a female yeah. body. Yeah, just uh, like I said, some of these pieces just work so well with some of this stuff. It just it's almost like it was meant to be, you know what I mean? And and you get a whole new character out of it and. Who, who of us doesn't have a million extra head sculpts in their fodder bins or their, you know, yeah. their, their bins of their extra pieces and stuff. And that's where, like I said, a lot of my stuff comes from. It's just all those extra pieces that I have. Super that sick. I just, you know, try to utilize. This man is even in the Gundams. Oh, yeah. You got to get that Gundam game going, bro. <laughs> I love it. I love building Gundams, man. Just, <laughs> it's, just, it's just so refreshing and so relaxing to sit and yeah. build one of these model kits and you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just good times, man. I was a big model soul. builder kid, uh, kid when I was when I was younger, so it just, like I said, getting back into the model things. And these are really simple models to put together, all yeah. snap fit or, yeah. you know, press fit pieces that go together. There's no glue involved or, you know, any mess like that, but 
you know, I just think they're cool. You know, and like I said, even adding a little piece like this, this fire effect, that's from a, a, a Marvel Legends Iron Man. You know what I mean? Right, right, I just, right. I, and I figured I wasn't using it for anything else, so I just used it for a nice rifle effect, a nice blast effect to go for the rifle. Yeah, that worked well, you know? Perfect. Yeah. Definitely a dope piece. This was, uh, what, 2006? No, 17, 18? Yeah, 1,000 toys. Freaking, S yeah, yeah, SDCC? The, the synthetic human. Probably one of the, if not the best articulated fig ever made to date, Dang. man. Crazy. So cool. So cool to play with. Phew. Yes, sir. We got Donnie. Donnie in I the mean, joint. I mean, this is Leo right here. Donnie's over there. I think I showed Donnie earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Donnie's back here. Donnie. This is Leo right here, man. Yes, sir. What else we got? We're going to go to the top. This is the Spider-Verse, baby. The Spider-Verse. Now, now we all know. I see the signature from here, bro. Oh, yeah. Tom McFarlane? I see it from here. That was way back in the day, too. That, that, that McFarlane signature came right after he dropped that comic. And that was right about the same time he dropped the, uh, the Spawn film. Yeah. Yeah, I got that right when he dropped the Spawn film. I, that's when I met him and got that signature from him. Figured, yeah, if you're going to go big, you got to go McFarlane. Look at that nice. Maximum Mary Jane, though, bro. That's a, <laughs> that's a dope yeah, ass. Yeah, that's clean. I oh, love that. Hell yeah. Like I said... Better than you're just your standard, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like finding stuff that's cool that speaks to me. Like that, that shadow box with Pizza Spidey in it. Yeah. That uh, artwork is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, damn, I'm, 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 that's uh, Michael Turner. Michael Turner was the guy who used to do Witchblade. He actually passed away uh, quite a few years ago, but... Uh, I just kind of that was kind of like a little ode to him and his artwork that he used to that he used to pull off. I was very uh, inspired by his artwork and a big fan of his stuff. So, like I said, little things like that to go with the collection. You know what I mean? Damn. Keep it different, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, this is a nice setup, bro. He even got Hulk up there with the uh, Fantastic Four. It's crazy. Yeah, that and that is Stan the, Lee up there too. That's the original Scorpion right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the OG one. And that uh, that Electro too, man. Yeah, that one's uh, the. It was a. I think he's the Marvel Select one that I got. Yeah. He came in like a two pack. Yeah, that's Spider Man nice. was kind of whacked on him, but I, I I dug the way he looked before. Of course, they released the newer one. But right, right, right. Since like I said, since I already had him, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not the kind of person that has to jump out and go grab the next best one or whatever. You right, mean. there you it go. It's good in my collection already. I I'm satisfied, man. There you go. Yeah. Save your money. Again? Yeah, because we know you know we got stuff to spend it on. <laughs> Woo -wee. Yeah, again, Mythic Legions, man. That's, like I said, that's my bread and butter right now. That's the stuff that just, I mean, it gets me every time. And there's so much extra stuff that you can put with them. I mean, I got, I got you know... That spawn tremor going on that that you know obviously yeah. works well with them. The horse was from a McFarland uh, uh, line that, that worked well with that. You know, I just like I said. Sick. And this is definitely your what? 80s, 80s inspired. Yeah, 80s. yeah. This is my 80s inspired shelf. Just you know, all the, all the nostalgic love, every way, shape, and form for the 80s, man. I just Sick. you know. I'm a, I'm a total kid of the 80s, man. I was born in 1973, so the 80s were my joint, man. I mean, Save the clock I, I tower, was, bro. Yeah, I was there, you know what I mean? So all of this stuff is just, I feel it in my heart every time I look at it. I mean, it's just, and like I said, it's just little tastes of it, man. You know yeah, what I mean? But, yeah, you know, yeah. It gives, it gives you the feel. Hell yeah, it gives you the feel. Yeah. You even got that VHS Back to the Future joint Come on, in the back. Man. <laughs> How dope is that? Yeah. That's crazy. It. That's crazy. Old school, baby. Old school. Hell yeah. And the and the and the custom. Yeah, yeah. The custom G.I. Joe late night. Late night LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. That's crazy. I was looking at this, I was like, what G.I. Joe is that, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My boy Hanzo got me that for my birthday, man. Yeah, that's, he made that for me. I was, that's I was dope, really man. I was really stoked on that. Punched. Yeah, I like it. Straight up. <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. Masters of the Universe again. Yeah, that, artwork. that right there is a straight print canvas uh, that I bought at um, PowerCon 2019. 
and that's actually signed by Rudy Obrero, who, if if anybody knows, is the original artist for the uh, Masters of the Universe uh, toy line. All the great artwork that you saw was all Rudy Obrero, nice. and uh, that that print, I just, I mean, yeah, I couldn't pass, man. That's it's just a, just a beautiful showcase piece. Now you know I love this show, bro. Oh man! You know I love this show, bro. I, I just I mean, wish I this, this line was series. wasn't so hard to to collect. Now I mean it, it, it wasn't that bad when I first started collecting it, but now it's it's almost untouchable. The animated series. Yeah, oh yeah. Of course, expensive. I got that. You inspired me to get that 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 Harley Quinn, that Mezco 112 Harley Quinn. Yes, definitely, sir. definitely a cool piece. She's clean, man. Oh, very, clean. very clean. And then again, this is what surprised me. You even got some storm collectibles. Yes, up in sir. Here. Yeah, yeah. Man, you, you touching uh, all the figs, hey, baby. Hey, you, you, you made me get those when you started dropping that. Uh, the, the remember the bluefin. Oh yeah, the bluefin, yeah, yeah. The bluefin, the hits. With yeah, those yeah, things. yeah. I mean, you were getting, we were getting those for like fifty-five oh. bucks, bro. I mean. How could you pass on those? Sick, bro. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, I don't have I don't have a lot of them, but the ones that I do have matter to me, man. So Hell yeah. Yeah, even messing with them little Figma little armory figures, the little girls with the machine guns and whatnot. More Mesco stuff. And this is like this is like your table, right? Yeah, yeah, this is my little This is how you create. Yeah, this is my art desk. This is your this is your creator's station right here. Yeah, I just like I said, this is where I sit down, get inspired. Start like painting some stuff and just it, you know little little head sculpts and stuff. Just yeah, you know doing my thing, making making customs, whatnot. You Get know you paints, painting armor. You know Brushing. I mean just everything you could think of. It just like I said, Damn, just that's clean right there. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, that's super clean. Right yeah, there. yeah. Just like I said, just you know have a little spot in your room. I mean the yeah. toy room just isn't about toys. You know what I mean? To me, it's yeah. an inspiration. It's just a, a nice place to be in and kind of clear your head and just enjoy all the things that we love man and like i said it doesn't have to be one line it could be anything you could imagine you know what i mean dig it dig it yeah more gundam love up there you know hell yeah and look at Bitches the card series, you had to get man. the card you had to get the card come on man you had to get the card bro. yeah and, and and really i mean i'm you know probably you know 99 percent an open box person where oh, i yeah. take all of my figs out right but these cards with the kenner name on them done the way they were done like the old school stuff blue line mean, baby on. blue line oh yeah you gotta keep a couple <laughs> blue lines you gotta keep a couple i feel so bad i opened up my blue line stuff yeah <laughs> just a couple i know? couldn't resist bro you know the vintage three and three quarter ones yeah. i mean come on nah, man is, it doesn't get any better than that this is cold man this yeah is cold. i love it dude it's just like like i said that's that's the coolest stuff man just to have that stuff damn yeah, he got it going all the way down the door frame. Use that space, man. Utilize every that space. single space. The death is, spot with the more the mythic yeah. stuff. And Look at this at the top. The mythic guys thought it was over. They thought it was over. Nah, nah. <laughs> Actually, all of these pieces are all standard figures. These are just right. The way that these are come. ones you didn't yeah, touch. Yeah, I have right? not. I didn't touch any of these figures. These are all just standard, like my standard figures. All my stuff in my cases and on my shelf are usually more than not their customs. But right. these ones are all just ones that I I refuse to touch. Just wanted to leave them just as is. These some dope pieces, man. Yeah, that I, that acrylic piece I had special made at Frank and Sons, a buddy of mine. Yeah. Did that for me. It's got the Four, Four Horsemen Studios logo on it. So, yeah, just to represent it, you know. Freaking. But, yeah, these are all just Freaking. your standard style Mythic Legions. Like I said, they're, they're just a great line, man. I just yeah, can't get man. enough of them. I mean, like I said, being a fan of, you know, Conan the Barbarian, Sinbad the Sailor movies, I mean, stuff like that. It's right, just, right, right. Jason and the Argonauts, I mean, stuff like that. I mean, like I said, with Lord, the of, Clash, the Rings, Lord right? of the Rings, Clash of the Titans, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that really draws out that kind of inspiration and imagination to, to you know, with the dwarfs and the orcs and the goblins and skeletons and the barbarians Super and stuff sick. like that. It's just, like I said, I can't get enough of it. Yes, sir. I like that one. That's a nice, yeah, that's a nice yeah. piece. Yeah, like I said, have Marty a little... Marty McFly, skirting across that hood. Yep. Voltron, baby. Yeah, oh, hold got... up. 
Creep Show. Yeah, yeah. What? They came out with the line of the Creep Show characters. Only the mm -hmm. only couple of them have come out. I haven't seen any other ones, but that one came out. That's the birthday cake episode. And man, if you're a fan of Creep Show, right. you know. You don't you don't even have to explain that. That's man. crazy. Yeah, that's cool. Then now my this. horror shelf, yeah. Come on, man. You even got a horror shelf, bro. Oh, you got it. Like you got on. your hand in everything, bro. Who who doesn't love horror, man? Like I said, you have fun with it, you know what I mean? Just you know. Just represent each one of those characters. Even that, like that George Washington. That was just a little custom I made. I threw them heads and him holding those those severed heads. And, yeah. You know, and that was from the uh, what was that? The Bio Bioshock or what? yeah, Bioshock. Bio, Bioshock yeah. character. I picked one of those, like I said, just to make that that fun little figure out. You know. Super sick, man. Yeah. Now I gotta ask you, man. Is that real alcohol in there, bro? Yes, sir. Yeah. You've never drunk it, huh? No, no. I I, I take taking a couple of sips. That's some. That uh, look like two some, swigs. That's baby. some honey uh, Jack Daniels right there in that. Damn. Thing. I had to fill that thing. I had to I had to give him some color. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You're a fan of the uh, the Netflix show as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Stranger Things. Plus, yeah. I mean, come on. The kids came out in the Ghostbusters mm -hmm. outfits. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you know, mm -hmm. you can't work it any better, man. Even if you tried, I thought he, oh, I thought yeah. they would work perfect in the little horror shelf next to Jack and his friends. You yeah. Know? Nightmare Before Christmas. Come on, man. Of course, some old school nostalgia, freaking uh, Disney haunted house, haunted mansion. Man. Too sick. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, man, this is this is this is real nice, man. This is real nice the way you put all of this together. It, and this it, this it, is your desk lot, area. Bro. It's a lot. There's just no there's no doubt about it. It's it's definitely a lot of work. And a it lot took of time, years, and years and years and years, and just you know, and like I said, there's always stuff to be changed up. There's always stuff to new stuff to add to the collection. You know, sometimes you got to get rid of stuff. Sometimes you got to put stuff away in a tote and exactly. make room for something new to come out. That, exactly. I mean, I've been doing it forever and. You know, like I said, exactly. but, but you know, in, in in the final outcome, it's something that I I could totally enjoy and and just look at and be proud of. I mean, I'm I'm proud of my room. I'm proud of being part of the collecting community. You know, and inspiring people and having great friends like George and Dang you know sharing with you know sharing my love with him and and just doing my thing. So awesome. Yeah. Awesome collection, bro. Thank you, brother. Hey. Thank you for coming, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I always enjoy coming over here and just kicking it. Uh, this is, I'm going to try to make this a regular, uh, regular series. What are we naming it? What Collectors in Cali? Cali Collections. Cali Collections. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be, this is going to be the first edition of Cali Collections. I got to get in touch with some more Cali Cali Cat, some more Cali friends that I can uh, go over their spot and, and see what's good. Not just anybody, right? Not just like strangers. Like these are like real personal close friends of mine that I'll be getting in contact with and they want to, if they want to show their collection, I definitely, uh, definitely want to showcase it. So uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. I know the video was long. Like I said, I hope you grabbed your snacks. I hope you grabbed your drinks because it was a good one, but it was a long one as well, but it was well worth showing. This whole collection. We're gonna take one more glance. Yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For I, I, sure. I'm so I'm so you know I'm humbled, man, to to be kind of the first one to to get a, a collection tour of my room from George. And like For I said, sure. George's such a big name in the in the in the you know Small community. Name. Uh, Small you know to to Small us as, as YouTube fans, you know, Plastic <laughs> Attic is a is a name that that. that resounds around everybody especially in the toy community so to have him come to my home and, and want to do wow. this video and shoot my collection i'm i'm, I'm very thankful and very humble humble to have him over so i appreciate thank that you so much, man. i appreciate the kind words bro. absolutely man absolutely right, definitely. I, I value your friendship more than anything else yeah that's, so that's really like tough. i said I, if if anything in the least i i hope that I hope that everybody, you know, enjoyed the collection. I hope there's some inspiration taken away from it, and you know, yeah, you know, at least, at least that, you know what I mean, that people could look at the collections in a different way or a different light, and maybe take some pointers here or, or some ideas. Dig it, you know, do with with their collection. What, what size would you say this room is, Eric? This room is a, uh, I want to say it's like a 14 by maybe 14 by 12, so it's not that big at all. I mean, it's like your standard bedroom right. size room, 
I mean, this obviously, the, this this was a closet with the slider doors. I right. took the closet out, took the hanger pole and all that out, and I built these shelves. I built my desk, you know, so I could put my computer in here. So that's I mean, what you just, call making the most yeah, out of your space. I mean, got that, got to drive that. Even space got the work. photography going on. Yeah, just doing it, man. You just, guys gotta understand, he's doing everything there is to do in the collection community, bro. Yeah, and like I said, for for me, you know, personally, it it takes a, a step from the just the the basic buying of figures. You know what I mean? Uh, I think I think that the figures themselves and the artwork and the the comic books and the stories behind them are such an inspiration that Dude. that's like I said it, it makes it makes the world of collecting and the and the love of everything nerd so Dude. much better. You know what I mean? That's that's how I see it. So Hell yeah. like I said, hope you guys enjoy it, man. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy. It. So sure. happy for you guys to come. All right, we signing out of here. Hey. Collect what you love, love what you collect. He obviously collects everything he loves, and he loves everything he collects. 100%. Be patient with yourself. Be patient. Now, look, I can't stress that enough. Yes. Be patient with yourself. Because if you're patient enough, even an egg can and will grow legs. This didn't happen overnight. This took years, years, and years of collecting. Hope you guys enjoyed. Plastic Addict, Eric. Ow. Peace, brothers. Tie.